let's face it we are tired we are exhausted we are nightmare to death with this coronavirus every channel you turn it on you're talking about it every advertisement is popping up on your phone it's popping up behind your back people are dying that's right they're dying this is serious people are dying people are scared People are buying up all the toilet tissue and Q-tips. Like, where's the cotton balls? They're missing. You know what I'm saying? People scared. It's like that person that come around that just stick out like a sore thumb that's just embarrassing. Like, you try to figure it out, but you can't. But they won't go away and they being embarrassing at the wrong time. That's what the Rona do. The Rona is showing its ass, isn't it? Anywho, but we never talk about the flip side. That's still nightmaring, but we're just not talking about it for real, for real. So we about to talk about it. Stay with me. The top dog, I know these niggas all on my position. Cause I'm putting up numbers like a statistician. The king back like LeBron when he was trying to Cleveland. Time to spread the back around, make sure we all eat it. Hurt some niggas, think they got us, guess we all eat it. People are scared to death. Jobs, jobs are dropping. These are people's livelihoods. Right now, the corona has made the celebrity and the everyday person on the even plane because everybody losing money. Everybody gotta be in the house, whether it's small or big. This is a humbling moment, let's be clear. This is a humbling moment. Everybody, I don't care how narcissistic, I don't care how perfect you think you are or how many followers you think you got, Baby, you just like me. Boop, you at home, you losing money. We got that in common. So your house might be bigger or smaller or whatever, it don't matter. You might be copping a squat on somebody's couch. The point is, we all in the same boat. The money factor is a real thing. Like my sister Taisha had told you when she was over there being messy, had to take her spot. This stuff right here will turn a hooker out of a dignified woman. Okay, I'm talking about out there like I got it, what you need. Because people trying to pay, they they scared. This is how I look at it. If everybody at risk of getting kicked out, where's everybody going? You losing money like me. Don't act like you not. Don't play with me. I'm talking about what you need. I'ma need you to pause this shit. The world on pause and so is these bills, baby. I gotta eat for I worry about paying you. You've been padding your pockets for years. Boop, guess what, bitch? <laughs> Biggie gets up. I'm gonna let y'all listen to this. I own this business, but I'm living off my savings right now. I'm not gonna, I can't pay myself. Deep down, I don't, I don't know if we really could last much more than a couple months. My income within 24 hours was gone. I have staff begging me not to close. Most part, if we close the truck down, like, this is really all we, I, I do. So it's just heartbreaking for us. We own a luxury salon. My wife and I own a gourmet toffee company, a handmade toffee company. I'm an executive chef for KST Cajun, which is a food truck. We provide cruise parking uh, for customers that are traveling out of the port of Miami. And I am a full-time drag queen. The KST Cajun truck runs here in Kansas City six to seven days a week. We do two to three events a day. To go from two to three events a day to nothing at all is like literally we've been like cut off to be able to afford our personal bills the truck bills the loans on the truck and everything is there's no way to just come back and just make that up and make that back what are some of the tough conversations you kind of had to have recently i'm sorry um closing the truck closing the truck um i deal with um no, nah, how she's like home with cancer. So it was already hard for me to deal with the public. I know my family is concerned with me just working with the public and knowing that I could easily get sick and I'll be sicker than a normal person. Watching everybody on the news say, like, oh, well, you can work from home. That's not the case here. Right now, when it all goes away, you know, I can go out and get a job. I'm 29. But my mom, my dad is 67 and my mom is 65. Like, they were planning on, like, retiring or selling this company. And, like, it's like, now we don't know what there's going to be. My parents probably can't even, they have to push back whatever retirement plans they had, you know? 
I think you get the picture. It was like at least more two, over two minutes left. But I just figured, you know, we've been nightmared enough. We get it by now. But it's, it's real. I mean, who would have ever thought? Think about it. Our biggest problem in this country is greed. It's greed. We're so greedy that good people are losing it. Just trying to keep up. Just trying to live somewhat of the American dream. But I'm going to tell you something, baby. I would hate to be somebody who owned a candy business at this time. Because in my personal opinion, now you might disagree. And that's great because different perspectives do matter. My personal opinion, candy can be the first thing to go. Baby, we surviving. We not worried about no Snickers. That's not something we worrying about. I, I do not wake up thinking about, well, damn, how am I going to get another Milky Way this morning? <laughs> I'm sure, I mean, if I just had a whole bag of M&Ms, my life would be better. No, I'm going to be fatter. So that's the first thing to go. That's scary. I just, I wanted to point that out. I don't know if that even helps somebody today, but that's what I wanted to put out there. People scared, man. At the end of the day, they scared. Even the biggest, baddest person. Don't think. Just because they ain't coming on there telling you scared, they are scared to death. Because at the very least, not knowing the end of this thing, you can't see the end of the tunnel, that's scary in itself. The outcome could not even be that bad. But the thing about it is we don't know that for sure. So everybody is scared. I think this needed to happen. I don't wish nothing on us. But I think America needed to come to its knees. It needed to crumble. It needed to fill it. And trust me, this ain't the only thing going on now. It's a lot of stuff going on. Me and you can't see to the naked eye. But the universe is working it out. Working it out. It's working out, I'm trying to tell y'all. Just keep your faith up. Just keep your smile zone. Just keep your laughter in your spirit. We gonna be all right, I'm telling you. We're going to come out on the other end of this thing. And I just realized I could stay in this house a little while longer. Because anything can happen tomorrow. Think about people like that one said. They do drag for a living and was living good off of that. They feeling it. You get me? You feel me? Because if you paid attention, entertainment was the first things to shut down. You mean to tell me they're not scared? Come on now. Your biggest bad, especially in our, as far as our people, entertainment is where they flourish. Hello. That's how they live and how they live in. We live in how we live in. This is the thing. Right now, the working man, if you really think about it, is in a better position than the celebrities. Ah! And don't be working at the hospital, baby. The world will be crumbling. Yo ass still going to work. I'm talking about just craters popping up in the street, people falling through. You better get to work. I don't know how, but you better get there. That's one thing about healthcare. Even the airport. Come on, somebody. Hey. Don't let me have to put a word out here. Even the airport had to shut down. It shut down. We better use this time wisely, babies. We're going to get through it. Use it wisely, but we gonna get through it. I'm telling you. All right, leave your comments, and we're gonna check in soon.